it's great to see you here at the Green Tech Festival in Berlin. So, which, uh, what company are you here? Well, we are here with E-Rocket, uh, called the Hyperbike, fastest pedal operated bike on earth, licensed, road legal, etc. But moreover, we have a, let's say, five year anniversary here at the Green Tech Festival. We have been at the first one, 2019. So it's more or less uh, a very nice event for us. Uh, Europe's biggest sustainable event anyway. Uh, and uh, so we are talking here to customers, potential customers, shareholders, potential shareholders. So there's a lot of stuff going on and on top of that, uh, in front of the building, directly in front of the Berlin Messe, we are offering test rides for interested people. So they can ride the e-rocket here, actually in front of this door, to be honest. And the e-rocket is such a special bike. Can you describe it? Well, first of all, it's the only pedal operated bike which goes up to 100 kilometers per hour top speed. It's of course fully electric, so no emission. Uh, it has a range before you need to charge it for 130 kilometers, which means it's not only for the urban mobility, it's also for the commuter. Uh, on top of that, it's fantastic to ride. The acceleration, as we know it from e-mobility, is absolutely wonderful. And again, you are pedaling. Intuitively, you are riding the fastest bicycle on earth. You pedal a bit faster, you go faster, you pedal a bit slowly, you go slowly, you stop pedaling, the bike comes to stop. What does that mean by your brain? You are riding a bicycle, but you becoming a superhero or superwoman because with this pedal operation you go up to 100 kilometers per hour. Wow, this is great. Yeah, Can you again describe the feeling when you ride the bike? How, how do you feel? Well, you really become a superhero. What, what we feel when a test rider is back, you see this big smile on his face because if you have, let's say, a car operating in front of you with 40 kilometers an hour, you put the sport mode on at the e-rocket, you pedal a little bit, you overtake this car, it's a crazy in the first minute maybe bizarre feeling and after that it's just adrenaline it's purely fun which does not mean it's a racing bike at all you can just commute you can cruise doing whatever 60 kilometers per hour whatever you want it's a bike for every man for every woman it's easy to ride because the pedal thing you learn as a child when you ride a you when you get your first bicycle so that makes this bike extremely special first of all the pedal operation is unique second the way it operates it's made for the street and for being with the cars being with other vehicles but of course most of the time being in front of them and I saw on, on, on the bike there's a button called Investors Welcome. What does it mean? Well, of course, if you are in automotive, uh, let me give you a, a really a nice but, but an easy example. If you want to build 500 bikes, you need to buy 1,000 rims or 1,000 wheels or whatsoever. So that means we have established uh, what we call E-Rocket Aktiengesellschaft. So uh, everybody can really participate, become a shareholder. We have already plus 400 of those. So that means I do not own the company, it's owned by more than 400 individuals who acknowledge that we have a very special product with a very big market. How can you do that? It's very easy. You can go on a website, which is ag.erocket.de, sign them directly if you are from Germany, if you are a foreigner, you can contact us directly and we have a solution for those people as well. So that means for getting from our first test series, 100 bikes, they did 400,000 kilometers on the streets in Paris, in Belgium, in Germany, and so on and so forth. Now we are getting industrialized. For that, you need money. And our idea, because the requests have been amazing, 3,000 people are interested from all over the globe in becoming either a customer or a distributor. So that brought us to the idea, hey, Let's build up this community and that works if you have this AG and we can sell shares. Very interesting. And you have been talking to the Ministry of, of, of Germany. Who, what were you talking about? Well, I, I, had a, I had a nice conversation actually with that gentleman uh, because he is really pursuing that in Germany we, we became a little bit anxious for innovation, not even speaking about disruption. And we need, let me put it in one way, we need more doers than talkers uh, and of course I explained a little bit that it is difficult specifically if you don't have a traditional product Germany becomes too much a little bit lazy 
Let's do what we have done the last 100 years. But sorry, the world is moving. And on top of that, the world is moving fast. So um, he was actually very, uh, um, very supportive and thought, yes, it's right what you're saying. And I think he gave an interview to some TV company or something and he really repeated what we spoke five minutes ago. So I think he is on top of those things and hopefully does what he can do as a Minister of Finance uh, in our country. Yeah, very interesting. So you are scaling up, uh, you want to scale up uh, with the E-Rocket. Uh, what are your next plans? Well, first of all, uh, we have, uh, uh, will we will come out with our E-Rocket One, what we simply have named it, which is a product which results of all what we have done the last five years, of all what our customers have given as feedback. This will be industrialized, so that means it will be European-wise homologated and it will go out to the streets. That's the first step, but of course we want to see that product in all the continents in the future, specifically also within the US, because this company is, abs uh, this uh, product is absolutely I'm sure I used to live and work in Silicon Valley for a number of years, so I'm very sure America is just waiting for our product. So yes, in the moment, uh, the main topic in our company is really preparing the mass production. For that, of course, the money is needed. This is why we have uh, made our little badge on the bike to give really everybody a feeling. We are not doing an app which you can program in 10 languages and maybe you have a ton of countries where you can sell it already. We are in automotive, we need to buy, we need to purchase, we need to maintain, we need to service and all these things. But it is important, specifically the, the world needs production working places, so to speak, specifically in Germany and we need new ones, those who are pointing toward the future and this is our main topic with e-rocket. I want to see thousands of e-rockets on the streets in the future and there are a lot of people, at least more than 500, believing into that. Thank you so much. My pleasure.